Welcome. Today we're going to cover multiculturalism in reading. Our goals for today are to look at what is multicultural literature, what are some different ways that writers can include multicultural aspects into their writing, how do readers connect to particular pieces of literature, and what steps can a reader take to connect better with writing. Let's take a look first at what is multiculturalism in reading. When you're looking at literature, any literature that includes a multicultural viewpoint from any minority group, that could be classified as multicultural literature. As a minority group, we may be talking about ethnic groups, or we may be talking about gender groups, viewpoint groups, religious groups, groups with particular disabilities, it could be any of these things. We may be looking at a character, a setting, a theme, any of these elements of literature that we find that have to do with multiculturalism that could classify a story, a novel, a play, any of these things as multicultural literature. Clearly, the more you have, though, the better in terms of looking at a piece of literature and determining that it's multicultural. So, for example, if you've got a particular minority multicultural character that's in a setting that's appropriate for that character, that has themes that deal with that particular minority group struggles, then we're looking at a piece of literature that is much more rich and varied in the way that it's presenting the multicultural viewpoint in the literature. Here are some examples of novels that you may have seen in middle school. There are many, many novels, um, hundreds of them, that would be considered multicultural reading in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade reading levels. And here is a list of books that would be classified as high school reading levels. And again, there are many, there are well over a hundred novels and short stories that would be classified as multicultural literature for high school readers. There is a lot that's available. Since the middle of the 20th century, we've seen just an explosion of information and literature that's available that represents multicultural groups. When we're looking at reading, when we're looking at a particular piece of literature, there are different ways that a writer can include a multicultural aspect into that piece of literature. It may be with a particular character. It may be with a setting, which has to do with time and place. It may be with a particular historical time period. It may be with the plot or the conflict that a character is facing. Or it may be with a theme or a subtopic or sub-theme within the piece. A reader, to have the best connection with a piece of literature, should really try to connect with a strong character. Now, if you have a strong character that represents a particular minority group in a multicultural piece of literature, you have a high likelihood of really connecting with that piece of literature, whether that's a novel, whether that's a play, whether that's a screenplay for a film or something along these lines. And the better that you can strive to connect with a strong character, the better that you'll understand that piece of literature. The kinds of things that we look for as readers to answer the question, how can we connect to pieces of literature? How can we connect to that multicultural aspect within literature? Looking at these particular areas, change, growth, and challenge. Those are pretty huge because a protagonist in particular is going to go through change, growth, and challenge within a particular piece of literature. As well, on a more personal level, any similarity that the individual reader has to a character can help that person to connect with the book. Let's take a look at some steps that a reader can use to connect better with the writing. First of all, look for the type of writing that you're comfortable reading. 
So for example, if you know that you absolutely love African American women's literature, then look for that kind of literature. Look for literature that's going to deal with themes that have to do with that, that's going to deal with characters, that's going to deal with settings that have to do with that, because automatically you're going to have a closer connection with that literature. Know what you connect with best. Know what's important to you. Know what's attractive to you and seek out that kind of literature. At this point, what you should know and be able to do is to know what multicultural literature is, be able to identify multicultural literature, and understand how to improve your own personal connections to multicultural literature. The better job that you do at this, the more that you should enjoy the literature that you're reading. I hope this information is helpful to you. Good luck with your reading.